If you're interested in red light therapy, then this video is for you. I have got a lot to unpack in this month's July update of red light therapy news. Let's get into it. First up, let's look at new products. We actually have a new panel that's just hit the market. This panel is the Red Therapy Co 840 Pulse panel. Now this may seem familiar because I recently reviewed the Red Therapy Red Rush 400. This was the smaller tabletop panel from the same company. They've now came out with their full wall panel, let's call it that. As you can expect, there are a few upgrades over their older generation panel, and I'm excited because I will be testing this soon, and I'll also be including this panel in my end of year wall panel comparison. So be sure to hit subscribe to learn more about those videos. In the meantime, I'll put links to this product and everything else I mentioned in this video below, so you can check them out. Red Light Rising, the UK-based company, have just released their Pain Go pad. Uh, this retails for £497. I do have a discount code. In fact, I've got a lot of discount codes for these products. Again, all of the resources and codes will be below. But it is quite expensive for a rather small pad, I guess, in comparison to a panel. Anyway, this appears to be targeted for those who suffer from pain. But it's just using your 660 and 850 nanometer light. And I don't think the power levels are going to be too high given it is a pad. But you may want to check it out. Bond Charge have released a PEMF mat that includes not only far infrared light, but also your therapeutic light in the 660 and 850 nanometer wavelength range. It is expensive, but it is a rather large mat. I don't know too much about the PEMF stuff, but I know the mats are becoming quite popular in the red light therapy space. So I will be getting some pads and mats and I will be doing some testing. In the meantime, if you want a red light therapy mat that also incorporates pulsing and far infrared rays, then yeah, check this out. Links are below. So about two months ago, I interviewed Scott from my red light we actually talked about the helmets he was working on i now see that up for sale on his website he's got two versions the base model and the pro model now both of these are hair regrowth devices the base model incorporates leds and lasers and the pro one is all lasers which is pretty cool and you can get them for under a thousand dollars i think the price is really really good especially because there's lasers in it i will try and get one to test uh, probably later in the year though because i'm currently testing the current body hair regrowth device uh, and that's a, I think a four to six month trial I've got to run it through. I will be doing before and afters and all of that. I really do hope it uh, regrows some of my hair up there. I have concerns about the current body one because it is quite low powered. And I just don't know how effective that is going to be. These new Mitre Red helmets are a lot more powerful, at least based on the specs. And I'm sure the pro version with the lasers is going to be putting out a ton of light. So as much as I'd love to get one to test and start experimenting with now, I do want to see out the current body test. So anyway, stay tuned to these monthly videos because I will be providing lots of updates. Finally, a lot of people have been asking me to test the Light Path LED diesel range. Yes, this uh, new range came out probably about two, three months ago now. A lot of people have been saying, look, review it, what are your thoughts? Uh, there is a bit of a story here. I was going to test it, but then there were some last minute changes. Turns out there is a, a new line coming out, like a, a diesel second edition, let's call it that. I am getting one of these. I will be testing it. And yeah, you can expect to see that new second gen version of the diesel range coming out in the next I don't know, six weeks or so. So stay tuned because I'll have lots of content once that is out. And that second gen diesel panel will be used in my end of year series as well. So exciting stuff. All right, let's look at the new articles that have hit the web this month. Neuronic, the company that produced the Neuroradiant 1070, have just released a media statement saying how they're gonna be working with the university to develop next-gen neurotechnology using photobiomodulation and real-time brain activity. So maybe a QEEG, for instance, uh, they're using that data and then they're going to change what's going on with the photobiomodulation, whether it's treating different areas of the brain or using different pulse rates intensities wavelengths even i'm not too sure anyway you can read that statement below it does sound like an interesting development next james carroll from novathor is running a photobiomodulation training day in the uk i'll put a link to this course below if you want to check it out he also runs online virtual courses but i think the best way to do it is when you're working in person face to face with james now he's also doing a course later on in the year in both australia and new zealand i will be going to one of those i'm not too sure which one yet if you are down under then let me know maybe we can meet up and i will also be interviewing Doing James one-on-one -on -one, uh, in London when I head over for the Health Optimization Summit. Okay, back to new blog content. Can Eon have an article on using red light therapy and the distance it should be from the skin? Quite an interesting one, especially as their product is designed to be used on the skin. Platinum LED have come out with an article on infrared saunas and how you can utilize red light therapy inside the sauna. They now sell a panel that is designed to be used inside a sauna, so 
I'm sure they'll be plugging that. And that's something I still need to get my hands on, by the way. Mito Red Light have quite a detailed article on red light therapy and weight loss. I find this quite interesting. It's something I do get asked about a bit, you know, hey, is it going to help me lose weight? I, I have a background in health coaching, fat loss coaching with, with clients. I don't think red light therapy is just the quick magic pill that people are hoping it to be. Yes, there is some evidence showing that it can help with weight loss, but I still think, you know, the fundamentals are, are most important. But still, check out this article. It may surprise you. Rouge have come out with an article on the side effects of red light therapy and Luminos Red have come out with a, a good article on men's hair loss and red light therapy or photobiomodulation. Now definitely check that out if, if you're worried about hair loss, but also stay tuned to the newsletter over at alexfergus.com as Bart is working on a really deep dive article looking at, yeah, what's going on with red light therapy and hair loss. So that's going to be probably the best article on the net. So again, stay tuned to the newsletter for that. Finally, Vlite, who specialize in photobiomodulation use for brain health, they've come up with two great articles. One is on red light therapy for COVID-19 sufferers, and the other is red light therapy and Alzheimer's. This company has a ton of scientists on board and they go pretty deep into the research and do a lot of their own studies as well. And it's actually a company that I'm gonna do some more work with in the near future. I'm hoping to review some of their products and get some of their scientists on a call and we'll do some interviews and we'll take a deeper dive into this world of photobiomodulation and brain health. Okay, so this month's study is titled The Effect of Low Level Laser Stimulation of Acupuncture Points in Pediatric Dentistry, a Systematic Review. So pretty much this study looks at the use of very powerful laser treatments to address pain, well, to eliminate pain for dentistry work. Now we're using light in the near infrared spectrum and yes, the lasers were quite powerful. The treatment time was very short, under a minute. And they found that, yeah, study participants reported much lower levels of pain and it also helped control their gag reflex when the dentists were working towards the back of the mouth. Link to the full study is below. Okay, so this month's question goes, Alex, what do you think about green light therapy? What about amber, yellow, orange, and these other wavelengths out there? Are they beneficial? So yes, it is a good question. Firstly, it is a little bit tricky to answer because there aren't a lot of studies on these wavelengths, especially compared to your red lights, your near infrared lights, and even your blue lights, for instance. But just because there aren't studies on a particular wavelength doesn't mean those wavelengths are gonna be beneficial. So yes, I wouldn't be surprised if in the coming years, a lot more research is done on these wavelengths and we find that, yeah, there are a lot of benefits. So it is hard for me at the moment to say that, look, green light is good for this and amber light is good for that. However, I do know there are some reports on people using green light for migraine control. And I've also looked at some of the benefits of the yellows and amber lights for skin and beauty benefits. I actually did a video on this topic and I'll put a link to that below as well. But to sum things up, am I using these wavelengths? Well, no, at the moment I'm not. I stick to your reds, your near infrareds, a little bit of blue. Uh, but it doesn't mean that I'm against them and I think they're a waste of time because yeah, I'm sure as I mentioned before, we will find out there are benefits. Okay, so what am I working on? What is coming up on the channel? And what may have you missed? Well, I do have some really good videos coming out soon. I've got one on red light therapy and sleep. I've got one looking at a red light therapy app. It's quite interesting. I also do a test using a cheap grow light to see how effective that would be as a red light therapy device. I recently headed over to Sydney and I went to a Planet Fitness Gym and tested their full body total enhancement uh, red light walk-in machine. I took all my meters and did some testing there. So you're going to want to check that out, especially if you go to a Planet Fitness Gym. I have an updated video on what to look for when buying a red light therapy panel for the first time. And finally, I've just received the Novalab Oral Care Pro. Now this is a blue and red light device, as you can see, that is designed to go in the mouth and help with gum disease and, and tooth issues and whatnot. So I will be testing this and doing some videos on this in the coming weeks and months. So stay tuned for all of these. All right, so since the last Red Light Therapy News video, I've actually put out a dozen videos. Three of these were interviews. We had an interview with Dr. Berman from Neuronic. We had an interview with Michael from Get Chroma. I also had an interview with Forrest from Kineon. All three of those interviews were really, really good, not just for learning more about the company's particular product, but also for taking a deeper dive into the world of photobiomodulation. So I highly recommend checking them out. Links are below. I also published an interesting video on pulsing in red light therapy. Plus I reviewed the new Rouge Care G3 Pro red light therapy panel. This is actually quite a nice panel. Uh, so I recommend checking out that review. And finally, the most popular review of the last month was this one. It was a really fascinating video. And what I do is actually test what's happening to the light 
as you move across a panel at different distances. It's hard to explain in detail, but I promise you once you start watching it, you'll find it quite intriguing. So again, check that out by clicking here. Otherwise, leave any questions or comments below.